Hello again, and welcome back to SCLC TV. I'm your host, Maynard Eaton, and of course, our president and CEO, Dr. Charles Steele Jr. Uh, Dr. Steele, Andrew Gillum surprised everybody politically by winning the Democratic nomination in the state of Florida. But the border seemed a little muddied when his opponent, Congressman Ron DeSantis, said electing him would monkey this up. Racial epithet or a slip of the lip? Well, regardless of the slip of the lip, it's in the heart and it comes out of the mouth. Uh, I feel that the Congressman DeSantis, in his own right, is playing to the George Wallace politics, which the current president is. Uh, uh, I grew up under George Wallace. In case you don't know it, or most people don't, is that he ran as a liberal the first time, and then the second time around, matter of fact, he lost terribly. So, and the second time around, he said, "I will never be out in again." Mm. And it, and George Wallace ended up being one of the terrible. Uh, uh, segregationists in terms of fairness to people of color in the history of the world. But he also evolved into a new George Wallace again, a third phase. Yes, sure and black folks uh, accepted his apology and he went back and he got reelected uh, after his wife passed. And you say we're seeing semblances or seeming Jim Crow 2.0 is also coming out in politics. Right? Absolutely. And uh, people, as they say, play to the base. Mm. They couldn't play to the base if it was not a reason to have a segregationist type of mindset and racism within that body. We heard the phrase, it's a dog whistle about race. Yesterday I heard, no, it's a, a, a foghorn, it's a, a, a siren. Yeah, know? yeah, absolutely. I heard someone say a megahorn. Megahorn, yeah. Yeah. megaphone. Megaphone. Yeah. And uh, that's, that's true. It's, it's, it's not a code anymore, not a whistle call. It's, it's getting on, on the uh, loudspeaker, yeah. the PA system, because we, we don't care. We, we, we go on full circle, and racism is destroying America and ultimately the world. You're the head of a major civil rights organization. Racism still a major issue you face every day? And is it still front and center? It's still front and center. Um, and are you troubled as a civil rights leader that it's here in our face again? And not only here, Mena, it's around the world. Mm -hmm. There are countries calling and talking to us, and, and, and thank God I'm able to get good information because I travel a lot, because people call them for me all over the world because of the position I'm in. And that gives me the opportunity to inform our people throughout America and the rest of the world that we have serious problems. There is racism in Russia, there's racism uh, throughout Europe, South America, I just left South America, been to Moscow, Russia, been th throughout Europe many times. All over Africa, it's racism, classism, and religiousism. You know, you got Muslims uh, attacking Christians um, in terms of the radical aspect of Muslimism, not just Muslim itself. People need to know that. It's a separate form, because most Muslims in my situation no different than the rest of us in religiosity they are fair and decent people. Are you troubled by what you see now? Or are you saying, hey, it's time for us to get back in the streets? Somebody, one of our students asked me today, should we get back in the streets? First of all, it's a blessing in disguise. Hmm. First thing you can do is falsify where we are. We haven't gone too far. Matter of fact, we gone full circle and we're at ground zero. It's a blessing in disguise it's old Chinese proverb just come close to my heart and I always loved it. Behind every crisis, there's an opportunity. All you got to do is look for the opportunity. And the opportunity is there. Finally, tomorrow, Friday, we shoot this show on Thursday every week. Friday, uh, we're saying goodbye to two uh, uh, national figures, uh, Aretha Franklin and John McCain. In your mind, John McCain, a national hero? I think so. He, he's the epitome of showing people that you can walk down the middle aisle, but you can also have relationships on both sides of the aisles. Politically. Politically. Religiously. Yeah. Lifely. You know, this, you can get along. You can get along. That's the name of the game. You, this is life. And we learn from John McCain. You don't have to be in politics to, to do this. 
he said to himself, I like a phrase that one of my old friends said, many, many of you always quote my daddy, but it wasn't him. Someone sitting around the funeral home one day said, in being a Christian, you just go about the work and use words only as necessary. And we also say goodbye to the Queen of Soul. I'm Maynard Eaton. This is SCLC TV with President and CEO Dr. Charles Steele Jr. See you next week.